Sit back and relax. It's story time for what might be the first video of SHOT Show. By the way, I'm literally begging you to go to TFB TV Showtime and subscribe. If you're only subscribed to this, TFB TV, the main channel, you're only going to see a few of the videos from SHOT Show. All the rest of them are going to be posted on TFB TV Showtime. We do this to avoid drowning our TFB TV main subs with notifications that they don't want. If you don't mind getting some notifications about new videos coming live from the SHOT Show floor, head over to Showtime now and subscribe and check out our SHOT Show 2023 playlist. Right now, I'm filming this in my house. It's early December. SHOT Show is more than a month away, but I had to fire at the camera because I'm so excited about this gun. That's about to be unveiled at SHOT Show. In fact, if you're seeing it right now, it means it was unveiled already. I'm going to tell you about what might be possibly the best 380 handgun ever made. And again, if you're watching this video, it means that Beretta revealed it today. Many of you remember my Beretta 84 BB Cheetah video. The Beretta 80 series of pistols are 380s and 32s. Some of them are single stack, some of them are double stack. They're also called the Cheetah series, which was actually a designation given to those models by Beretta some years after the guns actually rolled out. Far and away, the best of the bunch, in my opinion, is the Beretta 84 BB. I think I've got one. Yeah right here. The 84 BB is a double stack 380 with the same build quality design and features as the Beretta 92, but much smaller with a quicker 1911 style safety. You can see here, ambi safety. Uh, much faster, much better than the traditional slide mounted safety in the Beretta 92. The Beretta 84 is a double stack holding 13 rounds of 380 plus one in the chamber, but it still manages to be very small and lightweight with an alloy frame definitely concealable. Dimensionally, it's about the same as a Glock 26, albeit with a slightly longer grip. And in spite of being an old metal gun, it only weighs an ounce and a half more than the Glock 26. The 84 BB was the best version of the 84 because you could carry it cocked and locked, as you see here, unlike other versions of this pistol. That is to say, you can carry it with the hammer cocked and the safety on. I bought the 84 because I wanted to use it in my video about the guns from Heat. It's what Val Kilmer's character carries as a personal handgun in the film, and at the time, the Bread 84 was probably the best possible choice for a concealed handgun. The Glock 26 came out in 95, which is the same year the film came out in theaters, and it probably would have been the only other acceptable choice for subcompact concealed carry back in 95. I fell in love with this gun. Some people describe the recoil from the 84 as snappy. I describe those people as children. I think it's an extremely fast and smooth shooting gun. The single action trigger is just as good as the 92. It's light, it's small, it's sexy. I own two of them now. The video was hit with TFB TV viewers. The gun was a hit with me, and I lamented that it isn't being made anymore, at least in the United States. Well, brace yourself, Paisano, because it's coming back, but this time, it's going to be better than ever, believe it or not. When I was visiting Beretta's headquarters in Gardon Val Trompia this past April 2022, they surprised me with two fully functioning copies of the Beretta 80X. I'd seen some blueprints for the 80X a few months earlier, so I was actually really surprised to see that it was done, like in production. They showed me, again, two versions, a black and an FDE version. I think the traditional black looks great. Ryan really liked the tactical peanut butter, so that's the one we took out on the range. The first thing that jumped out at me is that these are essentially Beretta 84s, but modernized. They're still double stack 13 round 380 magazines, but with all the modern features that everyone's looking for in a concealed carry gun. It has more aggressive forward slide serrations than the original. It has a railed dust cover if you want to add a light. You've got the ability to add a micro red dot sight, which will most likely be done via plate system, and a way, way, way more durable finish than the original, but gorgeous bluing. After I got over the initial shock of seeing a modernized version of one of my most favorite classic handguns, reality set in, and I realized that there were a couple of things on this gun that I liked better on my old 84 BB. First, I preferred the clean dust cover without any Picatinny rail, for concealed carry. I took a poll of TFB TV viewers about a year ago and only a third of you or less actually mount a light under your carry gun. 
I would have preferred a slick dust cover, but this is far from a deal breaker. And I think on the whole, it's a plus to have the rail dust cover. The second thing I notice is that the 80X follows in the footsteps of the 84F in that it's got the same great quick to use paddle safety, but no more cocked and locked carry. When you flip the safety on, the 80X will decock. I actually thought that was a huge L until I got this thing out on the range and I used the double action trigger for the first time. Now, it's been eight months since I shot the ADX, but from what I remember, this pistol has perhaps one of the best double action triggers that I've felt in a carry gun since coincidentally, the double action trigger in the LTT version of the Beretta PX4 Storm. Depending on your holster situation, and your comfort with carry, you're probably fine carrying with the safety engaged because of how easy it is to flip on and off, as you can see from our drills in the video. Or what I would probably do, you could just as soon carry it without the safety on at all with the hammer down. The trigger's that good, and it'll give you a little additional degree of safety. No real need to carry cocked and locked. The first couple of magazines I shot out of it at seven yards showed great accuracy, especially for casual fire the first time I shot this gun. It's not bad. Prego. Prego. <laughs> I'd love to see what this gun can do with a red dot, shooting at a little bit slower pace after some practice. Of course, we're going to be following up with Beretta while we're at the SHOT Show, and we'll have an update and full details on the production version of this gun, including its price, release date, all the final details that you'd expect to get at SHOT Show. I don't have all the info right now at the time I'm filming this video. This is kind of like a preview that I wanted to give you guys, so head over to Showtime, subscribe, check out our SHOT Show 2023 playlist. You'll see more from Beretta. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in Vegas.